Hello everyone, hello new subscribers, sorry about the road noise. Uh, my latest art video did pretty well, and there's some new people here. So, one of the things we usually do on this channel is we go out looking for birds, and that's what we're doing today. Specifically, I'm looking for a flock of birds that I saw when I was driving by with my car. Whoa! I almost died. Okay, let's get back on the path. And I thought they were bullfinches. I didn't get a good enough look at them because it was um, near the end of the day and I also have to look at the road when I'm driving, sadly. And I'm gonna walk around again looking for them. I'm afraid road noise will be a part of our urban bird watching trips as long as I can't afford a good microphone. So I'll bring you closer. <laughs> That's what we're looking for today. No sign at all of bullfinches, I'm afraid. But I did see a jay, and he flew by me. And, well, with nothing else to look for, I might just search for the go jay hunting. They're uh, pretty shy birds, so we can still make a pretty decent adventure on just on its own. There are plenty of places I know that I've seen jays too, so maybe a jay hunt today. Oh, success. We said we were going to look for a jay. Found him nearly straight away. He's on, he's on this roundabout behind me. And um, he's in a tree now, but I saw him on the ground. I was actually looking at a few red wings that I saw there, thinking, oh, look, red wings. And then I saw a flash of blue in this, you know, the black and the white and the, the brown, and I couldn't believe my luck. I'd actually been stopped a minute ago by a guy who saw my camera and said he wanted to get into photography and asked if I had a good camera for beginners. And I said that I thought I did. This one is about 400 pounds and the lens is 200. Second hand, both of them. Saved uh, quite a bit of money buying second hand. And well, they've served me well and I've got a lot of joy out of them. I don't know what model he said he was looking at, 1000 something, I didn't recognize it. So I said to get this one instead. This is a Canon EOS 80D, you can see that. The strap, I'm gonna wear the strap. Well, firstly, it means I don't need to worry about dropping my camera all over the floor. It also means people know what kind of camera I've got. Now look at this. Can you, uh, can you see? Look at him! I don't know if that shows very well. I'll put him on the screen. Oh my goodness. I've never gotten such a good picture of a Jay before. And he was on the floor too. In the branches, it's so much harder to get a good picture because the branches in their way of them. It's on the ground, it's a, pan a fantastic place to see them. Jays are usually eating acorn seeds. Did you know that? They are one of the main propagators of oak trees. Jays and oak trees, they're like this. I don't know if the Jay's still in there. Well, I've already got pictures of him. I could get some more. Hell, I even got a little video of him. Well, that means that we should complete the Jay hunt. That was easy. I might stick around this area and then try to keep looking and uh, see if I can get. Oh, there he is. He's on the. He's on a branch still. So I might try and get some more pictures of him. Yeah, this is a rare moment. To... He doesn't seem particularly afraid. He might be a first year Jay. It's a good choice, so. Hey, Mr. J. Look at you. Oh, look at you. heard some goldfinches but no luck with them actually more luck with the jay i got him capturing an acorn i told you about jays and acorns i told you mm -hmm. he's jumping around with it seemed not really sure what to do with it so i think he's a first year not much luck with the birds at the moment in general nice wander around i guess oh i hear sparrows Well, we saw a variety of small birds, but we didn't get any pictures of them because they are so small. That's kind of the main issue with small bird photography. We saw chaffinch, great tit, blue tit, 
I, we heard goldfinches, but didn't actually see any. Lots of blackbirds, quite a few red wings, but they were in the distance. You hear that sound? It sounds like crying. Wait for it. Yeah, that one. There's a, a squirrel in this tree that's crying. Like a baby. He's like way up in the branches, but he's like curled into a little ball going, eh. Yeah, just like that. So that's quite funny. Yeah, check. the small birds are pretty out of reach of my current setup. I don't know how people get such good pictures of small birds. I think they go into hides. I don't think they just walk about town like I do. Oh, let's get a wood pigeon. Oh, I've got a picture of a wood pigeon. Do you want to see it? I mean, frankly, it's just a nice excuse to go outside. It's still January, so it's, uh, it's near the end of January. So it's getting brighter. It's getting, we're making it through. We're making it through the wilderness. We're making it through, ooh. Never knew how lost I was until I found you. I think we'll walk back to the original location. I am just retracing my steps because I don't know where I am. I know where I've been though, so I can get back. Even if it's longer than just finding out where I am. But we will go back to the original location that was near, near the superstore. And we will look for them again. And if we don't find them, we may just have to call it a day there. No luck. Got myself a consolation prize though. But it's not about right now. They might be around later, because we saw them around dusk. So, but it's so cold. I don't want to go out a second time. So maybe another time we'll try for them. Or they, or they were just passing through. They might not come back. Anyway, I've got to go pick up some food now. But thank you for coming with me and I'll see you on the next one.